Hello, folks. It's David Muller coming at you, and I'm super excited. The reason I'm super excited is because I just got this in the mail. This is the Chronicles of Narnia, the magician's nephew, and the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Now, it's just the two of the seven, and so it's inspired me to read them to you. I really like this. It's a nice box set. It comes with uh, the, uh, the original artwork and it is uh, just a really nice large print pictures uh, edition and I'm super excited to have it. Now what I don't understand is why it only came with two instead of all seven of them and I don't even I haven't even seen the other seven in this format but regardless of that I'm going to read them to you one chapter at a time. Now, m many people believe that we should start with the magician's nephew because chronologically uh, it happens first in the story. This is about the creation of Narnia. But it was actually, I believe, the sixth book actually written or published. And I strongly believe that you should start with the original the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is the story that started them all. And I think you should start here. It'll be more meaningful and impactful if you read The Magician's Nephew about the creation of Narnia after you read the rest of the stories. Just if you haven't already started this series, I strongly suggest starting with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, even though I know that is highly debated, and uh, as a huge Narnia fan, I suggest you start with this one. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna start by reading this one to you, one chapter at a time. Each episode will have one chapter, and then maybe I'll talk a little bit about that chapter or the story in general, or just maybe a little bit about my childhood and why this story is so important to me. But I'll read the back to begin with. And so Lucy found herself walking through the wood, arm in arm with this strange creature as if they had known each other all their lives. When Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy are sent to stay with a kind professor who lives in the country. They can hardly imagine the extraordinary adventure that awaits them. It all begins one rainy summer day when the children explore the professor's rambling old house. When they come across a room with an old wardrobe in the corner, Lucy immediately opens the door and gets inside. To her amazement, she suddenly finds herself standing in the clearing of a wood on a winter afternoon with snowflakes falling through the air. Lucy has found Narnia, a magical land of fawns and centaurs, nymphs and talking animals, and the beautiful but evil White Witch, who has held the country in eternal winter for a hundred years. This is where we start. So if you like this idea, just throw me a like, share this with your friends, whatever the case is. I'm going to start here pretty soon, but I just wanted to uh, show you my brand new book. I don't know where the other five are, but they just only came in, in just the two. But I'm super excited about having these, and I'm super excited about reading them to you. Because as a child and all my life, I've been a huge fan of Narnia and the whole story and the adventures of Narnia and I would love to share them with you.